Hi, I'm Edward Hutchins. The federal government, or at least a chunk of it, is shut down because Congress has not approved the spending. However, a particular incident concerning the shutdown shows why even more of the government should, in fact, be closed. Now, there's been a lot of uh, coverage of the World War II veterans, the guys that stormed the beach at Normandy and Iwo Jima, uh, going to their memorial in Washington, seeing it closed, ignoring the closed signs, taking down the barriers, and going in to the, mor to the memorial uh, anyway. Now, Representative uh, uh, Steve Palazzo uh, makes some very important points about this incident. He points out that this is an open-air memorial that the public has 24-7 access to uh, under normal circumstances, uh, even when the park police uh, or park personnel aren't present. Uh, he goes on to add that it actually requires more effort and expense to shut out these veterans from their memorial uh, than it would uh, to simply let them through, unquote. And by the way, the park police that normally watch these memorials uh, and monuments aren't affected by the shutdown. So, what was happening? Well, this is the classic case of the so-called Washington Monument ploy. That is to say, when administrations uh, are under pressure to cut spending or not to spend as much, for example, with the budget-busting Obamacare, what they do is say, okay, fine, we'll, uh, uh, we'll cut something. We're going to close the Washington Monument. We're going to close something that's very, very popular with the notion that the public will say, well, we don't want that. Go ahead and spend them all the money that you want. Well, in this case, of course, it backfired. Um, but there's an interesting point here. Uh, Tourists in Washington can't go to the Washington Monument. They cannot go to the museums. They're all shut down. But they could go down the road to Mount Vernon and visit the home of George Washington, our first president. Why is it Mount Vernon shut down? Well, it's because Mount Vernon is not owned by the federal government. It's owned and operated by the Mount Vernon Ladies uh, Association. Uh, therefore, they can keep it open even if the federal government shut down, is shut down. What's the lesson uh, of the shutdown? It is, why not simply sell off the uh, government museums and monuments and memorials to private concerns that could keep them open and run them even if the government is shut down. And for that matter, perhaps you don't want to be reliant on the government for everything, such as health care. So perhaps we should get the government out of all of these activities. Anyway, that's the object lesson for today, and I thank you for listening.